up, 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 up. Yeah, that short little slice. You didn't recognize it early enough, number one, but also you weren't explosive enough to get to the ball quickly. A tad slow to react to that one. You got there so late, you had an emergency shot. You hit the ball almost at the ground. There was like a delay of you waiting at the baseline, trying to study the ball. So the ball recognition was poor, but on top of that, the explosiveness wasn't there either, which resulted in you not having any chance to get that ball. Again, there's a delay there. You see that? Ball recognition, intensity, explosiveness. All three things are poor. That's why you're not getting to those balls. Nice shot. Hey. On that shot, the net slowed the ball down a lot and you had more time to make it up to that shot. And you performed really well with the reverse finish. That's something we worked on a while back, remember? Yeah. Shamir, there are three things that need to improve in order for you to start reacting better and playing those balls around the half court better that are surprising you. Yeah. So the first thing is ball recognition. Okay. Do you know what I mean by that? I think so, yeah. Uh, by watching how you hit it, I can tell if it's going to be short. Or no, no, no. It's not okay. going to be by watching how I hit it because um, I can prepare a certain way and have a different outcome. Okay. In other words, I can prepare to hit a slice and I can make that into a drop shot or into a deep slice. So that is not a good way to recognize the ball by looking at the swing. Okay. What ball recognition refers to is your ability to recognize the ball in flight, mm -hmm. collect information from it, read it, and make movements accordingly. Okay. Now, let me give you some examples. Being able to read underspin, top spin, the penetration of the ball. Most commonly at the rec level, players have a hard time reading miss hits and balls that are hit softer and that are landing shorter. And that's what happened to you a lot of times. With a softer slice of mine, you were hanging out over here. There was a delay. Uh -huh. And by the time you saw it, you, you went up to the ball yeah. and there was no chance. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so that's ball recognition. The way you improve that is number one by playing more tennis and watching the ball more purposefully with more intensity. If you don't have intensity in your whole body, then ball recognition doesn't matter. So intensity gives you a chance to work on your ball recognition. So intensity is something that we work on every time we step on a court together. You heard me say yes. a million times, Shamir, high intensity, high intensity, stay on your toes, don't be flat footed. Yes. Concentrate Shamir, come on, footwork, high intensity. Now be ready back there on your toes, be ready to move. So that's intensity. Right. That's something that you can't live without. Okay. And without that, your ball recognition is not going to improve as much. In addition to all that, there's also explosiveness. So let's say you had great ball recognition yeah. and great intensity, but you have poor explosiveness. You're still going to have a lot of trouble getting to those unexpected balls yeah. that are landing short. The explosive, is that like off the mark, like from point A to point B? Being quick off the mark, exactly. Yeah. Getting out of the blocks explosively. Those first two steps, making those very powerfully. Yeah. And that's what we're going to work on in today's lesson. So really? do, you have a, do you have a towel by any chance? Yeah, yeah. All right, go grab a towel. I want you to sit down on the towel. And now I'm going to feed a ball. It's going to be short. You're going to get up, run the ball down, and put it away for a winner. Okay. As simple as that, okay? All right, ready? Go! Come, 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 come! All right, come on, explosive, Shamir. You gotta explode. You gotta be intense while you're waiting. While you're sitting down, you have to feel the intensity in your body even though you're not moving. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, like a dog, like waiting for a frisbee throw? Yes, exactly right. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Are you intense? Go! Come, 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 come! Better. You made a mess out of that forehand. No, 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 I was just messing. All right, now one important thing. Once you get there with plenty of time, that, that's where you should hit the brakes, slow yourself down a little bit, and execute the shot properly. Yeah, I Don't, was just kind of having Yeah, fun. you were very explosive into the shot, which was unnecessary in that circumstance, okay? Woo. All right, much better, Shamir. Way better. Woo. Made a mess out of that. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You caught it behind you. When you feel like you're making contact behind, that's where you have to slow it down and not rip because you're going to miss, okay? So it's okay to make contact behind if you have to in emergencies, but then slow the shot down to 50% or less. Go! Come, come, come. Much better, Shamir. Go! Come, come, come. Much better, Shamir. Go! 
come, 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 come. Way better. Now, show me on the next two, I'm not gonna say go. I'm just gonna hit the ball and you would explode that way, okay? Yeah. So you just gotta watch the ball. Lift the ball. Come on, lift it in emergency situations. Higher over the net. Come, come, explode, explode. Come on, Shamir. Intensity throughout your whole body. Way better. Nice one. Come, 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 come. Ah, good for doubles. All right, last one, match point. Come, come, come. All right. Good effort, man. Show me your next progression. You're gonna do the same exercise from the chair or the ladder. And I'm not gonna say go anymore. We're yeah. past that point. I'm just gonna feed the ball. Yeah. You're gonna recognize what it is. And you're gonna be at the same time very explosive moving there, okay? Got it. When you are very explosive and you get there with plenty of time, that's where you hit the brakes, settle yourself and execute the shot properly. Come, 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 come. More explosive, show me, more explosive. I didn't like those first two steps there. Very good. Very well executed. My favorite one so far. Explosive, you settle yourself, hit a clean forehand down the line. Very nice. All right, last one. Way better, Shamir. Nice, man. You see the difference? Yes. Very good. So explode. Settle yourself. If you have time, settle you yourself. Time. Yeah. And then execute. Now let's um, transition into keeping the ball in play. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to volley to you, and every now and then I'm going to bounce the ball into the ground okay. unexpectedly. And you're going to do the same thing we just did. Oh. Oh. Sorry, it, it, it messed me up. I was like, wait. Okay, you're going to do that. You just follow the ball. If the yeah. ball comes to the other side of the court, you're hit it on your side. Don't worry about that. Yeah, I gotta remember. The that. reason why I'm doing that is gonna come a little bit quicker to you than me just putting you a, a floater. That you're gonna have more time if I just volley a floater there, or if I give you a floater from the baseline. When I put it into the ground, it's gonna get to you a little bit quicker. Got it. Okay. So we're working on explosiveness. It's a good drill. Okay. Yeah, that threw me off. Yeah. Okay. Don't let it throw you off. You just play the ball. Okay. Okay. That ball really gets up there. It does get up. It's lively. That's another good aspect of it. Overhead? No. It's not high okay. enough for that. On your toes. On your toes the whole time. Come on. Intensity. On your toes. More height. The ball is so shallow. Put the ball higher over the net. Better. Shamir, a technical thing. You want to be explosive, but you also want to make a quick turn towards the side that you plan to hit from. So let's say you want to hit a forehand. You make this quarter turn early and put the racket to the side early. Turning late, I'm turning late. So, yeah, you're turning late. You're running up to the ball like this and then turning late, and now it's like a hectic shot because you're doing everything at once. Yes. Stroke is not sequ sequenced turn properly. Window. That's number one. Number two, Yeah. don't forget to hit the brakes. That's why the ball is bouncing over your head. Hit the brakes. Yeah. All right? Okay. Good. Okay, not bad. Oh, sorry. Out. Still, it's still too late, the prep. I mean, it was better than before, but it's still too late. It's still late a little bit. You're yeah. still running like this. I like to run like this. Stick the racket to the side right away, okay? All right, good. I like that. Good, Shamir. Nice. Good try there. I wasn't off the ground, but there was stuff for the, to see that one. But good explosive move there. Nice. All right, here we go. Back up. Back up. What are you doing there in the middle of the court? Back up. 
Sorry, Nick. That was. Yeah. Well, you know, my shot. Sorry. Yeah. Don't don't do that, Shamir. You got to react to it. That's part of explosiveness. If you don't do anything, if you have low intensity, if you stop playing, in other words, these things will never improve. So you have to make an effort to get every ball, okay? Because that's a mental switch that you have to make and tell yourself, I'm going to run every ball down even if there's no chance to get to it. Even if there's no chance, that's the, that's the thing. Come on. Better. One more. Okay, that was, that was a lot better. I did better this time, right? Way better. All right, let's pick these up real quick, and yeah. then we'll, we'll rally a little bit and see if your explosiveness has improved, okay? Yeah. I know you're already tired, but we'll see the difference, okay? You got to work hard. Come on. I like how you hit the brakes there. Nice job, Shamir. Like it up. Come on, play every ball, even when it's out. Better. I was late a little bit. Congratulations. Maybe a little bit, but you got there got in pretty good time. That was nice. <laughs> come, 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 come. Much better, Shamir. Nice. <laughs> come, 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 come. All right, good try. Come, 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 come. All right, Shamir, better. Beautiful shot, Shamir. Last one, okay? Way better, Shamir. All right, let's call it, okay? You did good, man. It's normal to be tired at the end of a session like this. This is a very intense session. You did a good job, man. Your ball recognition, your intensity, and your explosiveness was definitely better so towards the end. Yeah, thank you. Your willingness to fight for every ball and not watch balls go by you, it also is improving. I'm reminding you yeah. uh, to do that because that's a bad habit of yours. That problem is a little bit independent of the explosiveness issue, but it's just a matter of continuing to work on this intensity. Ball recognition will improve with time. Yeah. And if we run through these drills often, you're gonna find yourself being more explosive. So when you play somebody yeah. and you get a ball like that, you're, ready. you're gonna be like this, those first two steps, you're gonna feel so confident. And then when you get there with more time, it's always better than getting there with less time. Yes. Because when you get there with less time, often turns into an emergency situation. And make mistakes. Right, when you get there with more time, you have time to set, you have time to make adjustments, and you can hit better shots. Like there was some that like I got too comfortably. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Nice job, Shamir. Yeah. I'm gonna keep you. working hard. Yes. I think also what this might be a little intense, but like yeah. the years of not being moving like on my like like a, a foot injury. Yeah. I let balls go because I knew I wasn't gonna try to get them. Okay, I don't that's know if that accelerated and made my because I heard even at my best tennis, my yeah. movement was always my worst part of my game. Okay. So like the foot injury just made everything worse. Like, cause I already had yeah. ball, poor ball recognition. So by playing with an injured foot, I'm, that makes so, so much used sense. To letting balls go. Yeah. But now I have to like, okay, hey, this is better. Go. <laughs> I think that's another aspect of this whole thing where you just were not running because no. you wanted to save your foot. So yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But now since your foot is better. Yeah. Um, but even even when I was at a healthy foot, this was still my crutch. This was still my hard, like, the intensity was still my hardest thing for tennis. Yeah. It is for a lot of players, though. I always bring up the example of going to a club and watching recreational doubles, especially if there are some older guys playing. Okay. And especially if it's a more intermediate level to beginner level, and you're going to see guys like flat-footed just standing. You know? Yeah. Then you see a junior academy somewhere, and the kids are all like pop, 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 high intensity. Because when you play tennis at a higher level, you cannot survive. You cannot win any matches without intensity. It's just impossible. Because what that means is if you don't have intensity, there's, of course, more pace when the level is higher. Yeah. And you're going to be like forced to improvise on almost every ball if you don't have the intensity. So yeah. the intensity is something that goes hand in hand with 
yeah. of playing good tennis. I love, yeah, I guess yeah. you get to a better, you have and, to, and that's, has to get better. And that's why I emphasize it in every practice of ours. Yes. The intensity is key, staying on your toes. Yeah. On top of that, there are other things, you know? Yeah, yeah. Such as explosiveness.